FOMO. Complete FOMO on it. It's been a bit of an Instagram sensation, TikTok sensation, so I just really wanted to see what all the fuss was about with it. It's a very interesting product to use where it's got the snail mucin in it. So I want to see the effects that it has. Does it live up to the hype that it's got? I have quite oily skin that I'm sure I've mentioned many a times in previous. And I want to see whether it actually helps with the moisture that's on my skin to plump my skin back up as well and really home in on the dullness that my skin can actually get sometimes. So this, I want to see whether it lives up to the hype of the FOMO. I'm really intrigued to see what it's like. Okay, how do you feel about the snail thing? I think it's probably one of the things I was like, ooh, I'm interested. You don't hear about it a lot. It's not some, It's not like an everyday ingredient that people are boasting about, so it's got an interesting take on it. As long as it's natural. Ooh, it's not as um, watery as I thought, but then again... Does it feel like snail? No, it doesn't actually. It has a bit of a stick kind of quality, like as I'm putting it up, I don't know if you can see that. But it's actually super refreshing, I can already feel it. Yeah, it's got like a tingly when you have something that's quite like wet on your face. I know that sounds weird, but it's it's a tingly kind of quality, but it gives you such an amazing glow. Like water, the smell of water, but it actually smells really refreshing and really clean. I was kind of thinking it might have smelled a bit chemically, but it doesn't. So I'm really intrigued. And if that keeps that glow, but also pumps my skin back up, my face is gonna look good. This has been all over TikTok. It's the one product to try. It's been on my exploding topics radar for so long that, you know, I've been in, in the world of beauty for maybe over 15 years now. And this is something that's really got me intrigued. I've always heard of snail secretions and seen them as a sort of power anti-aging product. I'm, there's the ones in Holland and Barra and whatnot, but just knowing that COSRX is so ahead of the game when it comes to skincare, and this is apparently amazing. I just can't wait to see the difference, and I love an essence, so that's why it's on my list. As you may have seen in a previous video, the Ren Essence I loved for its sort of sticky texture. Fingers crossed. This is a first impressions. This is the same. I'd say the Wren is definitely a bit more watery, but we'll do the, the old palm test. Ooh! Nice. No, it smells completely fresh. I think people need to just not worry about the snail element. If it works, it works. Let's just give it a go, and I guess we'll be the ones to tell you. So I've heard a lot about this product, and it's fascinated me because it has the secretion of snails, which I think is crazy. So they put this in there because they found there's skincare and benefits in it. And I just really want to try it and see if it works. It just sounds like such a cool innovation. Okay, so I have already swatched this in a Texture Tuesday video and I really liked it. It's really refreshing. It's got a little bit of tackiness, which I like because it means it'll make my makeup stick a little bit better. So I can't wait to use this and just like see how it goes. I wanted to buy a cream from Snail and when I spotted that on the list, uh, I really wanted it. I was so excited to try it. I do use toner in my skincare routine, but I take that I can use it after the toner, just as a primer for my skincare routine. It's 96% natural product from Snails. I Googled it, what is behind the company, if it's ethical or no. And it's absolutely perfect. They don't uh, kill the snails or something like that. Everything is left free and they produce this perfect product. So watery, so lightweight, doesn't have any smell and it gives an instant glow, I think. It's so smooth, my hand after that, it's so smooth.